here with Larry Comas, the voice of the Dubai World Cup. Larry, you've been in Dubai a week now. How's the experience been so far? It's been really fun. And uh, I've been doing a lot of work. I've been busy studying these horses uh, day in and day out, but trying to incorporate a, a little bit of fun and enjoying the sights and scenery of Dubai as well. In terms of the races tonight, the first race we kick off with the Arabian race. Uh, we did a little research. It's been about 30 years since you called the Arabian race. Uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I think it was the Northern California Fair, probably at uh, Santa Rosa, might have been the last one I ever called, uh, or the Bay Meadows Fair, who knows. But yeah, it's it's uh, fine. I, I've been uh, studying all the horses' names uh, over and over, going over the pronunciations, and I, I almost feel like I know those Arabians now more than the other horses on the card, just because I spent so much time on it. In terms of the uh, the straight race tonight, we do have a, a straight race, and I believe you've never called a straight race before. How are you feeling about the, the sight lines and how this race is going to turn out? Yeah, other than and, uh, a quarter horse race, I guess you could call that a straight race, but this is a little bit different because that six furlong shoot is way down there as you can take a look. It's uh, six furlongs <laughs> away. <laughs> and so because of that, uh, you're going to have a different perspective. And there's that always that possibility that the field splits and some of them go inside, some of them go outside. I haven't ever had to deal with that before, but it's something that uh, I've been watching and uh, trying to acquaint myself with uh, a little bit. Last thing for you, Dubai World Cup, last race tonight. What is it like calling Frankie de Torre's possible final ever Dubai World Cup? Yeah, but I love that possible term that we keep hearing with, with Frankie. It just seems like that's been the theme for him all year long. Uh, it, it is definitely big on my mind what, I, what I'd like to do, you know, if, if Frankie does win the Dubai World Cup. I, I think it would be just so cool to, to get a chance to call his uh, his finale and, and hopefully we'll I'll get a good view of the fun, the final Dubai flying dismount. And to, you've been to some of the biggest races in the world. You've had been involved in the biggest history in announcing. Good luck tonight and congratulations on this journey. Thanks very much. Looking forward to it.